Hey everybody, just wanted to give you an update on the NFT system. Now if you remember, these red buckets here are kind of a standard um, sort of setup where there's a fish tank down at the bottom, say hello to all the little fishies, and the water's pumped up into gravel beds, which then you put plants in, and the gravel serves a lot of functions. It's a home for the bacteria to convert the fish waste into uh, plant soluble or water soluble nutrients for the plants and the plants take that up, cleaning the water for the fish, and it just recirculates. NFT is a little different. Uh, this is a different technique, and uh, basically this is for when you want to emphasize fish production over plants. Um, this blue barrel over here is going to be the fish tank. So it's a 55 gallon drum, full of water. Now that water is going to be um, through an overflow technique, is going to be coming out of this pipe right here. This is just a bracket for you'll see later. Uh, it flows down into here at the bottom of this bucket. Now the, the idea here is that this is going to be a swirl filter which will eventually be full of a large medium like um, maybe gravel or um, something large that will kind of take out the pieces that are, you know, like the fish poo that's um, sizable. So that will swirl around uh, in this direction and then will flow out of this pipe into the second bucket. These plants have nothing to do with uh, the system. But this was a handy little resting place for these guys. The second one will be filled with sand and that will create surface area for the bacteria to live on. So in the original system the bacteria live on the gravel and in the water. Here they're going to be living on the surface of the sand. Now because sand particles are very small, each individual piece creates a lot of surface area. So you need much less sand compared to gravel for an equivalent amount of bacteria. Then the water is going to flow over, similar kind of swirling deal, and it will go, it'll, I don't know if you can see, there's just a, a small uh, just water running along the bottom here. And then there will be plants in these individual cups. Um, there's going to be a, a um, string of uh, mop, actually, like a mop head that's gonna be cut, which will bring the water up into contact with the plants. And then everything goes down here into the sump, and it'll drain into here, and here's my pump. And this will be on constantly, you know, returning the water back to the fish tank. Um, I, pl I set all this up uh, last week and I was very disappointed to find out that because of the rate of flow from the pump, it was flowing faster than the pressure uh, created by this half inch piping would allow to flow through. So it came out of this tank fine because I allowed enough room, uh, basically this is a five gallon head, and then, um, but it overflowed out of this bucket. So. I went back to Lowe's, got some half, got some one inch pipe instead of half inch, which is this guy over here, and I got some one inch unisealers, which are these guys. Now, so it's going to be the same system, but with larger pipe diameter, and because, you know, the area is determined by the square of things, a, a doubling the pipe size will quadruple the amount of water that can flow through it, so it should reduce the amount of pressure by a factor of four. And I think that will be enough, hopefully, because uh, I don't want to buy more seals. And um, I'll give you guys an update when all that's done.